welcome back. I'm going to do another, um, I guess, video upload because Streamlabs is just not going to happen today. With YouTube, I don't know why, but it just doesn't want to do it. So this video is about uh, Nettle and Dwarf Silver Martin, which you can get Silver Martin in other breeds too. But Silver Martin, this is just a youngster, and she's... She's got a beautiful head and ears on her. She's just a chunk. Very solid rabbit, in fact. And she's a sweetheart, and she, she just gets a little perturbed. And when she gets perturbed, she sticks her ears out. She's like, ah, you, what are you doing? Um, don't touch me. Uh, even though she loves love, she just is like, I don't know about this stuff. So when she's curious, those ears will go out. But she can... She can do. She can hold them ears together, but a silver martin is similar to uh, uh, an otter. It is actually um, just like a, uh, basically almost exactly like um, uh, a black otter. The only difference between a black otter and a silver martin is that all of the orange that you would see behind the neck. Whoop, don't fall off. And I'll try to show that to you. Come here. All that orange color behind the neck, that is all gone. That's what the chinchilla gene does. And you'll see the belly is, oh, come here. Her belly is white as well. Kind of a creamy, creamy white color. And she's got a good hind quarter on her, nice straight back feet. And that's how we check for hindquarter. And, and so if you're ever questioning the hindquarter of your animals, flip them over. Once you get them flipped over, and you can look at those back feet that way. And that's usually your quick telltale sign of what, what, um, come here, baby girl. Come here. I know you wants to, you wants to be up, but she's got to learn to get flipped over. So that hindquarter, you know, see those feet are, or straight up and down. I've checked her nails to make sure we don't have any any white ones. They're all dark colored as they're supposed to be. And she's got that pretty pretty white belly on her right there. And she's just a cutie. Just a cutie. She's like, look at me, look at me. Yes. So but she's just a sweetheart. They'll have the same kind of white ticking down those flanks as, a, as an otter will. The only difference between a black otter and a silver martin is there's no orange color. Now, uh, seal martin can actually look very, very similar. And the only way you can really tell between a silver martin and a seal martin is being able to take it outside, put the rabbit in the light, and all of a sudden you'll start to see kind of a, a purplish or a, a very weird hue to some patches of the fur. And that generally is indi indicates that it's seal marten. Seal marten is, again, very similar, just has a little bit different light that hits it differently. And the only way you can really tell that is to take it outside into natural light and so she's getting she's like don't mess with me so this little girl she's not very old and she's she's still learning she's still learning and so you get her relaxed here a bit again this is just a handling issue for her she's just a cute little little girl very very relaxed in general she's she doesn't like to keep her ears down right there where i want them she can do it but she doesn't typically do it but you know just working with posing and she likes to kind of pose this way naturally anyway and she has ever since she was young get your ears back up here get those ears there we go. And so we have a beautiful little silver martin doe. A little beautiful, got good width across the front. Good width of this midsection here. 
She's very firm in her body style, lots of muscle, and a really solid hind quarter. And it's just about the details and getting her to, to learn to hold those. And so I hold do that like that. And so that's kind of your front side view, kind of an angle view of, of the pose. You really can't evaluate top line as well from that angle, but she has a fairly good top line. She comes down and meets the table. I'll turn her just a little bit. Again, very full to the table. Yeah. And she's just very relaxed rabbit to work with. I know. And so I work with her. She might be, I wish she had a little bit more turn over the hip, but she's still young. And so a lot of my front line, top my front limb length doesn't come in till later. And she's like, got the fur that in between her ears is a little thick and that causes also to cause those ears to come down a little bit. But she's a beautiful little doe. Uh, I think I think she has some potential. Uh, again, she's just she's just young yet. This girl is only uh, she's only um, 11 weeks. So she's not not an old girl, and so this this is her ugly stage probably, and um, you know she's she's just in that stage where things are are growing. She's just you know she's just so good natured, and she's been this way ever since she was a youngster. She just naturally has this desire to to sit. She's not a big time explorer. And so I'm really, really pretty happy with that. Get those front feet lined up with the eye. Just get her to relax a little. And you can see she's she's probably a little long, you know, a little bit long from here to here. We really want that to come a little in a little sharper. But again, if like I say, we let her continue to grow, and she grows and uh, fills out a little bit more. She she may be may be okay, but she's got a really great set of ears on her. I like the thickness of the ears, so and that's really important in Netherland dwarf. Maybe a little thick, but 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 her daddy was really good rabbit and he still is he's just getting to be an old man and so a lot of our rabbits come from him and a lot of these silver martins uh the uh, otters and things like that that we've shown have been out of that guy so he's it's just going to take some time and working with silver martin now you can use create silver martin with uh, a chin and you got to have the chinchilla gene in the background, uh, so you can't have full color. Uh, obviously, with the, with the chin, it it would be black otter if you had full color. So you want to make sure that if you're if you're in, wanting to create this color, you go with like a black otter and you put chinchilla, uh, which is an agouti. Now your odds are you're going to get uh, chinchillas, but they'll be carrying the otter pattern. And then you can, you know, re line breed that a little bit to get uh, more silver martins if you keep going back to the back to the otters and and so on and so forth. So you just have to work with it a little bit. It may take a little time, but you can create silver martin. Another option is you could just you know get you a silver martin, a couple of silver martins, uh, and and put them in there. This girl more than likely carries ruby-eyed white in behind the silver martin uh, because the mama has ruby-eyed white it was actually this is out of a two black otters so um, the one black otter is carrying ch 
chinchilla, and the other one is carrying uh, ruby-eyed white recessively, and that's why this kit can is even possible. So, but I really like this girl. There's little things that still need to need some some work. Again, she's she's just an interesting girl with those ears. But a lot of, there's a lot of good fur on here, and that's so awesome to see at this age, and to see the the level of thickness in the ear. So I'm really happy with this one. Silver Martin is a really pretty color, and and she's like all kind of looks like she's all grumpy. Are you being grumpies? You being grumpies? It is the middle of the day, and for nap time. So so anyway. I just thought I'd show off Silver Martin. I don't think we had Silver Martin in some of our original genetic series. And so, you know, um, I have to go back and look. It's been so long ago. Then I thought, you know, let's do Netherland, Colors of the Netherland uh, Dwarf. And so today we just, we just decided to show off a Silver Martin that has the proper coloring. And, you know, some of these colors that, that we'll show in this little series, um, they're not finished products. And that's, that's because you, it's incredibly hard to find some colors. Um, orange is a really fun color. It is a very hard color, in my opinion. Uh, you can get a lot of orange, but it's about reducing the amount of, of smut and discoloration in the rabbit. It represents better under chocolate than it does under black based animals um, now chin and some other breeds is really useful because you can create magpie I know you just here oh you did you just pee all over my we just we just peed because we're like he's like I had to go that's why we have the blanket but uh, you can create magpie if you're working with like harlequin or uh, you know tricolor hollands where the, you're using the harlequin gene uh, you can import you, you would use the chinchilla gene same gene that's responsible for this color uh, you would use the same gene um, in a goody in your tricolor holland lops for instance to create magpie. And magpie is basically just a, it, if you can take and visualize a harlequin rabbit, which is black orange in color, and you introduce, uh, let's say, a tricolor of black, orange, and white, tricolor, uh, and then you introduce magpie to that, and with some work and some time, you can. Uh, create magpie and it's what is it'll do the same thing it just removes all the orange color all the orange pigment from the hair shaft so that's what chinchilla does that's the difference between chestnut and chinchilla black otter and silver martin is we've just removed all the orange color all the orange pigment from the hair shaft and that's why we don't see any of that color so she just chilling out here with us I don't know why she won't do that. I'm just going to have to work with her a little bit. Because she'll sit there and do this, sit there and pose in her cage beautifully, and then I get her out, and she's like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to look good and pretty. But, you know, still a sweetheart. I think she's going to be, end up being quite a, a wonderful rabbit. If she's not, she looks like she's angry when her ears go out like that. She's like, I'm angry. I'm going to take off but but she's just just a sweetie and it's just gonna take some practice and some age for her to realize she's got to hold them ears where they are and uh, and some of that could be just the, like say again the amount of fur that we've got on the ears that was one of the problems in some of these silver martins early on is they just didn't have the ear thickness and they didn't have the the well furred ears that we were we were wanting and so we finally got that yeah there you go there we go now we see now you look angry there we go it's like I put them up and then they doop, 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 doop. <laughs> yep it's fun working with some of these guys certainly not 
probably the finished product that I want. But there, it's it's in the, a step in the right direction. And not to mention, she's just an absolute doll of patience to work with. And so that's why I like working with these Netherlands. Sometimes you get some of these personalities are just incredible. So anyway, that's Silver Martin. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep up with the content we're going to do, uh, like say, this whole series. It'll probably take a few weeks to get every color, but we'll see what happens. But we've got just about every color here, and at least most of the showable ones. We may have a couple here that aren't showable, but we'll, we'll get to those here very shortly. But for right now, and here's a final look at Silver Martin Netherland Dwarf. Happy rabbiting, and we'll see you on the next one.